Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these fine lacy earrings. They're easy to make and I'll show you step by step so I'm sure by the end of this tutorial you're going to be able to make them by yourself. If you want to support me and see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas and you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelries following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below this video i will be so happy to see your creations down there in description you will find a full list of materials links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for paypal donations to develop this channel thank you so much for watching now i will start with the list of the materials okay guys so what i'm using for this video are two contrasting colors of 11 o seed beads you could use 10 o seed beads of course and these are ear wires this is monofilm and that is 0 0.006 inches 0 0.15 millimeters size 10 beading needle scissors and I use pliers, they are not obligatory, only if you need to go through the difficult beads. Okay, and now I'm going to take about half an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, and I have my thread on my needle and now I'm go going to pick up four of these beautiful silver beads. Okay, I have my four beads here and I'm going to slide those down. Okay, and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making my knot by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and I pull and I'm going to make one more knot. Now I have this. Okay guys, and what I do next is that I go through one of my silver beads in this direction okay just like this and i'm taking one dark bead and i'm going through the following silver okay then i take one more dark bead go through the next one okay and I will do this two more times. Okay, and now I have this. And now I'm going through this dark bead here. Okay, and what I want to take are four silver beads. Okay, I have here four silvers and I'm going back here through this dark bead. Okay, I have this. Then I'm going through one of my silvers here and I'm taking one dark bead or color B bead. Okay, now I have this, then I'm taking another dark bead here and I go here through the following silver and I have this, then one more dark, go through the silver and pull and in my next step I will skip the dark bead and go directly through the silver okay then i will go one more time only through the silvers in the center to make them stay connected and close to each other okay i'm going only through the silvers and i'm skipping the dark beads okay now guys i'm exiting out of this silver bead here and i will go through the next silver skipping the dark one in the middle okay now i have this 
and I'm going to take two more silvers like this and I will go back in circle through these silvers here okay go back again through the silver okay and exit here between those two silver beads and I need just one dark bead okay now my goal guys is to reach this part here okay I have this and I need to reach this part I want to exit through one of my silvers here let's say through this one okay you see what I have now and I will repeat what I did from this side okay Everywhere I have four silvers in a cross with black beads in between. Okay, I have two silvers here on my needle and I go back in circle through two silvers that are already there in my work. Okay, skipping the black one the dark one in the middle okay this one and going directly through these two silver beads and then here at the edge and take one dark bead okay and what i do next is that i go through this dark bead here at one side of my work and I will flip my work because I prefer to work counterclockwise it's easier for me because I'm right-handed okay now I'm taking one seed bead and I'm going here through this one okay like this then I go through the silver here And also here through the dark bead at the edge. Here what I need are three dark beads. And I'm going back in circle through this edge bead. And I'm going through the silver and through this dark bead here. I take one dark, go back in circle through this bead here and you see I have a loop between my beads, okay? This is how I'm connecting them. Then I go through the following silver and if you can, in one movement, go also through the dark one at the edge. Now guys, here I need three dark beads and I go back in circle okay and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row Okay, and what I do next is that I go through these two seed beads, just like this. And I want to flip my work because I told you it's easier for me to work in this direction. Okay, and I'm going here through this bead. Okay, and what I need to take here is one silver bead and I'm going through this 
center bead through this one here and I'm taking just one silver like this and I'm going through this one silvers okay and I'm going here through this one skipping the one that's sticking out the most and going through the following bead and I need one silver and go through this one here through the dark one that's closer to the center of my work not through the one that's sticking out the most but the one that's closer to the center then I take one silver and I'm going here to the next one okay now I take three silvers again like I did before and I go through this one and I'm going to continue this guys until the end of this row Okay, and now I have this. Okay, and here I go through this silver like that. I take three silvers here. Okay, skip the one that's sticking out the most and go through the following silver. Then I'm going to take just one dark bead and I'm going here through this silver. Okay. We'll fix this moving around later. Okay, then I'm going here through these beads and through the dark and through the silver after that. Taking three silvers, skipping the one that's sticking out here going through the following silver then take just one dark and go here through the silver at the edge then here through the dark and through the silver Take three silvers, go through the following silver. And take one dark bead, go here. Then through these three beads, silver, dark, silver. And don't worry that it bends like this, we'll fix it later. Okay, and I need three beads. Go here. Take just one dark and go through this silver bead okay or white bead whatever you use and here what I need to take are three dark beads go here then in my next step I'm going through the dark and through the following silver And I'm taking three dark beads. OK. 
okay then through the dark and through the silver and with this row I'm straightening up my work okay it stops bending it goes in this direction okay I have three go through this one here then through the silver like this take three dark beads go through the silver then through the black and through the following silver okay and everywhere at the edge I'm adding dark beads and I'm making my work stay in a nice shape okay going through the first of these three that I added okay then take three go here and go in the dark one and in the following silver okay just like this take three go here straighten those up go through the first one okay add three dark beads go through the very first of those beads and then back through this dark and through this silver and with this row guys my work stays in a nice shape okay it doesn't bend and move anymore it's cool okay And I'm going to attach here my ear wire okay and in order to do this I'm taking a seed bead my ear wire and a seed bead okay this is what I have on my needle and I'm going back in circle through the bead that I'm exiting out of at the edge okay and I pull then what I do next is that I reinforce this joint here okay guys then I'm here where I need to make a knot and cut my thread and in order to do this I'm going here through some beads to find a place suitable for making a knot let's say I will choose a place here at the edge okay And I'm making here a loop and I'm going once and I'm going second time through this loop I've made here and I pull gently making sure I'm between those two beads where I started my knot from and then I go through the following seed bead and you could repeat this knot several more times and when you're ready with the last knot go through the to the next seed bead never cut next to a knot but go through the next seed bead and then cut your thread as close as possible to your work 
okay guys and now my fine lacy earrings are ready so if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button to be notified for my new absolutely free upcoming videos for fresh bidding ideas and you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much you help me only with this action and if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that i posted below this video i will be so happy to see your creation down there in description you will find a full list of materials links where you could buy supplies from link to my store and link for paypal donation to develop this channel thank you so much for watching bye bye from